Hey guys, um, I'm going to do a little bit different video today. Um, so welcome to another video. Uh, in this video the theme is going to be the Raspberry Pi. And uh, if you're not familiar with the Raspberry Pi, it is a really, really cool, very inexpensive, um, basically just a card. You buy a card uh, and it's a computer. Uh, it's got a processor, everything that you'd want. Um, and you can actually dabble with it and people have put mods out there to use the Raspberry Pi to control you know anything from your media center to um, well you name it I've seen retro gaming make them an em emulators you know the possibility is endless you can use Python to program it um, so there's a lot of a lot of different uses for it so what I wanted to do is um, show you my Raspberry Pi setup I'll have all the pieces and parts that I have into this uh, in the show notes where you can get them uh, and then what I've done is I've tried to make this as portable and mobile as a possible like a little portable computer um, so what we're going to do is just quickly go down the list of what I've got and in this instance this is the actual Raspberry Pi itself uh, the card is in this case and I'll have a link for the case in the show notes but the Raspberry Pi is actually in here I just fit it in the case you can see there's a uh, uh, network port. I've got some USB ports full up in here. I've got a video out. There's a headphone jack. Over here is an SD card slot. And here's our power slot. And you can see the little Raspberry Pi logo. And over here is an HDMI out. So that's why people like to use this as a media center is because you actually have HDMI as well. Uh, a lot of different things going on here. I do have an SD card in it. It boots from the SD card. So the OS is actually on this. There is no local storage on this uh, card. So you basically will burn an image to an SD card, or you can even do it to a USB, um, and boot from that. So, also attached, I have a miniature Wi-Fi. So basically what this does is uh, this allows it to connect to a Wi-Fi network. I do not have to have it plugged into uh, a wired network. So this is capable of getting on Wi-Fi networks. This is a Logitech mouse. Uh, so I do have a mouse capability. I also have underneath this, and this is the portable part, a power supply. This is a USB power charger, but with this kind of cable, this is a USB to type M barrel, I believe. Um, so this will actually power the Raspberry Pi. So if you're out and about, all you gotta do is power on this USB charger, and this will run this. Um, also, I have this screen, so this is a little portable screen. We'll just start stacking. This is what the computer is going to look like once we get it out and we boot it up. Uh, you can, for for sake to make it simpler, just use a dual USB charger. I only have the single one down on right now on this, but this is another USB charger that's very small and portable. So I actually have the screen connected to it for power. Um, and then again the screen goes into the composite video here out so uh, I also have a keyboard the keyboard's a little bigger than I like but this is one of the smaller ones that I could find and I love that this one has a, a touchpad so you don't even have to have a mouse you can use this keyboard uh, only uh, and you can have a touch touchpad to control the mouse and click and stuff with uh, with it so you don't even need a mouse if you have this keyboard and this is a Logitech keyboard K400 uh, wireless so that's kind of nice too and this actually makes like you can see someone using it for their media center makes for a good remote if you are using this Raspberry Pi for a media center um, so other little bits and pieces we have here that I haven't really got to use yet this is the Raspberry Pi camera so yes you can actually use this to do video um, FaceTime Skype whatever if you install this camera um, and then also this is a USB sound card and you can see it says USB stereo sound adapter so if you want to install and you can see headphones microphones you can actually use the Raspberry Pi uh, to produce sounds to produce audio um, record video or not video I'm sorry record audio so you have a sound card as well all in a USB so how does this all work so let's go ahead and power this up and you can actually see my Raspberry Pi camera that came with it just haven't really put that to use yet but that's future project so <clears throat> what I'm gonna do here is since this is already on, we're just going to power up the USB charger down here. And what you're going to see is the Raspberry Pi is going to boot from the uh, SD card. So we're powered up. And pretty quick 
there you're gonna see some on the screen and you can see the little Raspberry Pi logo here we're on AV1 this is the system booting up so this is a nice little portable <coughs> Raspberry Pi setup and it's not very pricey um, this screen is actually a reverse camera screen for a, a, a car so this is what you'd see in the dash that you would look in cars that are equipped with rear view cameras when you're backing up this, and this has a nice screen uh, it does 720p and uh, I think it was like 20 bucks 30 bucks I don't know, at the time of buying the price may have fluctuated since then but I'll have a link in the show notes so you know the chargers maybe $20 $30 uh, the Wi-Fi card I think was 10 you know again this was all just prices uh, when I picked it up um, the keyboard you know, so, you know, maybe 100, 120 tops in this setup. And uh, as you can see now on the screen, I'm going to try to zoom in. You can see a little login prompt. So this is kind of a little watered down version of Linux um, that it's running. And you have a full blown uh, computer that you can run stuff and you can program in Python. So anyway. I just wanted to go over this. We're going to start doing some Raspberry Pi stuff, have some videos related. So if you enjoy this, give me a thumbs up. That will tell me that this is a, a good subject of interest and we can keep pursuing it. And we will put the sound card to use. We'll put the camera to use because I have some pretty cool projects we can use for this. And uh, there's other cases out here too that we you can go out and look. And there's books. There's all sorts of stuff for the Pi anymore. Um, and I think I got this from Element 14. If I remember right, uh, I'll have a link for them where you can actually pick up the pie. Uh, so really just go through the links really good and um, check them out. And uh, if you're interested in this kind of setup, this is really for people that like to hack, to, to tinker, to mod. Uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, if you're a big jailbreaker, a rooter of Android, this is right down your alley because it's got a lot of possibilities um, and a lot of different things. And if you like to program in Python, uh, there's books out there for programming Python that you could just create a script out here and run with it. Um, <clears throat> so good stuff. And uh, again, if you like this kind of stuff, give me a thumbs up. And we'll keep going down this Raspberry Pi path. And I may even just start a new playlist for the Raspberry Pi videos and uh, go from there. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this, too, give me a subscription to the channel. And we'll continue down this road. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.